Spokane neighborhoods want safer paths for pedestrians and other ways to slow down drivers. This is reflected in a new traffic calming master plan commissioned by the city of Spokane. Marissa Rio details for us how this master plan was created. Derek, the city is working to determine how to best spend the money that comes from photo enforced radar tickets. That money has to specifically be used for traffic calming measures. This report is the result of two years of conversations and planning with neighborhood groups and representatives. Over the span of those two years, neighborhoods have narrowed down proposed projects to their top three priorities, one of them being here on Grand. A road diet has been proposed here from 9th Avenue all the way down to 29th Avenue. Neighbors cite problems with cars speeding in this area, the width of the street, and a need for more pedestrian crossings. A similar issue the Emerson Garfield neighborhood is seeing. While Corbin Park is a place where families gather and kids play, one neighbor points out the lack of stop signs, close to none. We felt it was important that those crosswalks be clearly modified, uh, clearly marked, per perhaps with bump outs, perhaps with a raised crosswalk. What that looks like, we're not sure, but we know we need something there because that is the main path for children to get back home, crossing the park, or to get to the playground. Jean Brake says the light at Washington and Buckeye is also an issue that's been listed as a priority priority in the city's master plan. It's confusing to people um, who has the real right of way and pedestrians especially crossing are unsure. Is someone turning left? They're going to run over me, which is a real concern. There is similar confusion in the Rockwood neighborhood, specifically at the intersection on Rockwood Boulevard at 10th and Sumner. Neighbors saying it needs a restripe and other improvements to make it safer for pedestrians. It's a blind turn, so people can't see. And as people try to cross with the residents there and the church, it makes it very difficult, both a risk of people getting hurt and hit as well as uh, cars getting into different types of engagements. While not all of these projects are approved, the city will look at these priorities when determining which new construction projects to start. A city official says they approve new projects every year. You can see which projects your neighborhood is prioritizing on our website at kxly.com. Live in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.